Ali saying his prayers. Corey's already said his. Eight inch reach advantage, apart from almost 20 pounds on to Ali. And Quarry first to throw a punch, but just out of range. Quarry's gonna mix it, and Ali almost pushes him through the ropes. Quarry lifts him up, it's already mixing it. Referee breaks them very roughly, very roughly. Quarry seeing red here. Quarry's gonna try and bustle Ali out of it. He's gonna throw all his eggs into one basket here. See if they don't get cracked. Todd Alley high up, high up on the head. Excitement here is terrific. Someone said Alley must fall sometime if he keeps going. Nice jab by Alley as Corey came in. Not a nice one. That left hand of Alley's that eight inch reach. Corey's gotta get down on inside. Quarry's found the body puncher. Nice evasive stuff by Quarry. Very good by Quarry. Ali misses all around the board there. Bit low. Low punch by Quarry. No, that didn't get home. Quarry's certainly going. On the borderline, some of those punches, but Ali's showing his contempt for them. Two nice punches, a bit of Ali shuffle there. Quarry just can't get past him now. Ali beckoning him forward, saying, come on and try it if you can. Nice punch to the body by Quarry. The corner shot at Ali B. Mean jam. Quarry trying, he can't get past that reach. Nice little one to the chin, but only a little one, half a minute to go. Quarry can't get past the left hand and really get a solid one to the ribs. Ali misses badly again. High up that one, high up. Solid but high. Ali slapping a bit with the left hand. Quarry getting inside, no. Ali almost got him with that right hand, but it just zipped the chin and went on the shoulder. Quarry had looked like a low punch again. Well, I never cease to be amazed, Damon, the way they cart the rule books at the gates here in America. And there's no question about it that a couple of uh, Quarry's punches there were very low, but nobody said a word about it, at least of all the referee. There's a lot of spite going on, despite that sort of pantomime in act. And there you see, right from the off, Al Quarry trying to rattle Ali there and lift him over the ropes. I think that's a, a sure sign of needle. Referee saying, calm down there. But it's a far different opening round than the previous fight we saw between uh, Ali and Quarry in Atlanta, Georgia. Round two, Quarry looking mean and determined. Quarry doing well avoiding those left hands so far, so far. Nice uppercut by Ali. can't get in range. Now there are those left hands. Nice jabs by Ali. Someone shouting to Quarry, stay down. With that uppercut bothered him. <laughs> 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 
Poiré's slugging them, but he's out of range every time. Almost every time. Poirier said he wouldn't get needled. That uppercut again? No, not quite. <laughs> Ali says, come on, and he caught him. Caught him two lovely ones to the chin. Quarry obeying, Quarry losing his cool, but catches Ali with a nice hook to the chin. But Ali contemptuous again. A referee letting him do that, but he shouldn't. Ali treating him with absolute contempt now. Quarry desperate to get a left hook to that chin. And he got him, he got, got him a nice one. And Ali couldn't resist it, pretended to wobble at the knees. He really is playing with Quarry now. Half a minute to go, round two. And Ali hasn't raised a puff yet. There he is pretending again and just saying to Quarry, well, hit me. Quarry's not getting anywhere that matters. Just hitting him on the bicep, hitting him on the elbow. Amazed the ref lets Ali stay like that. Quarry gets in a hook there, but Ali just stabbing him out about a measure for the right when the bell went. You know, this man, Ali, never ceases to amaze me. He's standing in the corner there, raising his hands to the crowd. I'm wondering if viewers realise the strength of this man, Quarry, and the contempt that Ali's showing for him. Quarry, here's the man who walked out and knocked out Jack Burdell in 64 seconds. Had a war with Joe Frazier and a tough fellow like George Chivalo. And yet, Ali just stands in the corner and toys with him. There's no doubt about it that this one man happening makes Jack Johnson look like a beginner. Round three, <clears throat> and for once Quarry stayed on a stool until the warning bell went. Contemptuous, one, two, three jabs by Ali. Now, judging by Ali's appearance, none of these Quarry punches have hurt him at all. One have to assume at the moment that's true. Quarry's face beginning to puff up a bit. Again, that wild ride. Can't get past the defences. Ali seems to be able to pick that left hand when he wants to. Quarry looking a little demoralised. Quite get in with the hook. Two nice left hands by Ali. Quarry puzzled, puzzled, puzzled. How does he beat these de defences? How does he get past that left hand? Eight inches. He's eight inches away every time. That's the difference in reach. In a way, this is taking something of the pattern of younger Quarry against Foster.
Oh, Quarry's hurt with that one. Desperately trying, but desperately out of range. Ali flicking out the glove, not much force behind that one. Playing with him, toying with him. Quarry is either seriously slowed down now or looking for a strategy, waiting for his one particular punch. Half a minute ago. Slap. Better one to the body. Quarry muttering to the referee. Ali cuffing him like a small boy. Quarry looks very tired. Just can't do a thing. Quarry bemused. The bell. I think Quarry is more frustrated, bewildered than tired, really. He just doesn't know how to handle this incredible man, Ali. My father and grandfather were professional seconds, and I'm wondering what you would say if you were in Quarry's corner now. How would you say you could carry the fight to this man? If you get close to him, he rips him in at speed. You can't beat him at long range. He has fast feet. It seems to me the, the only way is you can hit Ali is when he gets careless, or unless you happen to be a Joe Frazier. A warning for the rounds very early here, but uh, Quarry's corner of cotton on, so they keep him sitting on the stool. <laughs> Ali doesn't care. He's just standing there nodding away, left, right, and centre. To anyone he sees, he recognises as if the evening is more important than the fight. <laughs> Round four, I would think maybe Mohammed might try and finish it, the same as the other fight. A bemused, bewildered quarry. Quarry comes in and does nothing. They look like little taps, but they jolt to that quarry head back. I'm afraid it looks as if Ali, if he wanted to cut loose at any stage, could finish this fight. <laughs> Ali looking a bit more serious, more business bent. Perhaps waiting for a combination. No, no, Quarry not there with the right hand. The key on the door, says Ali's corner. And well, that uppercut might well be the key. Half a minute ago. It seems like a half a minute of Ali's choice. Oh, another tough one. And another one. Quarry on the run. Quarry on a bad dream. Yes, yes, he's got the combination going. Quarry can't survive this, can he? Just five seconds to go. 
And Quarry's taken it. But at what cost? Well, there was an opportunity to see Ali cutting out the clowning and really putting on the class when this fellow Perry is 30 years of age and still boxing like a young man, weighing that 15 stone six and a half. Now we'll see a little bit of slow motion again. And even in slow motion, I think you'll find the speed of Ali's punches, that upward left hook there. An arcing punch, very difficult to deliver that one. But he just poised beautifully with it. Well, there's the man himself, a good close-up there. He's really working up a sweat now. He cut up Quarry last time, and he may well have to do that again, because there's no doubt about it, the Californian really is a hard nut, and he takes him knocking down. Round five, and for the life of me, I can't see Quarry surviving this round. Ali playing with him like a kitten with a mouse. Quarry just hasn't got an answer left in the book that I can see. He's got his hands up, he's jigging a bit on his toes, going through the motions, but might as well try and keep the tide back. He's putting up his gloves as if he's trouble seeing Ali. Half-hearted punches by Quarry, but I think that's all that's left in the storehouse. Quarry can't take much more of this. It's a little reminiscent of Ali and Patterson as if he's playing with them. That's a try, but it's not a good try. This, in a way, is unpleasant to watch now. He's just flicking and jabbing him as he likes, as if he's playing with a punch bag and not really putting the full force in. Deadly left hands, and Quarry continues to take them. Quarry can't take much more of this. I would have thought the referee might step in here. Ali's a mile in front. And Quarry's just a punch bag now. Game, albeit, but a punch bag. Just as they say, punching from memory. Half a minute ago, and I don't know what Ali's up to. Maybe it looks easier from out here, but from out here it looks as if he could put him away at any second he wanted to. Quite an uppercut, quite an uppercut. Quarry on the go again on the bell. Why didn't he finish it? Well, I think, Eamon, that Ali has always tried this wearing down process. I don't think he's ever been a great single punch hitter. It is this accumulation of punches, and he's calling out to the ring, Ali, just by our commentary position and saying, how am I doing, boss? He said, this little old lady's tough, he sang. I'm just relating to you exactly as I can hear him from the corner. But, you know, let's, let's have another look at Quarry and put him into perspective. There he is calling out, look, right from this commentary position. And he says, we are ready to go. What a fantastic man. And another look here in slow-mo. 
Now let's get Corey back into perspective. Here's the man who knocked out Jack Bedell in 64 seconds. Here's the man who defeated Larry Middleton, who in turn defeated the new champion, Dan McAlinden. This is no setup fighter, and yet Ali's making him and spanking him just like a sparring partner. And there he is, turning to the audience. Sixth round, and Ali looked out of his corner before the bell went, looked at someone ringside beside it, says, easy way to make a living. I reckon he's going to finish it now in this round. Yes, Quarry can't take anymore. I'm surprised at Mike Kaplan, referee, not stopping it. Quarry is game as they come, but Ali, I'm sure, is going to finish it this round. He's got to finish it. Quarry's still on his feet, but that's all. Ali just behaving as if he's with a junior sparring partner. Boxing this fight as he was behaving all during the day, as if there was just something he hadn't quite remembered he must do later in the evening before he goes to bed. Barry goes forward hopelessly. Somewhere in the back of his brain, perhaps he thinks he can get the one sweet one, but the one sweet one isn't there anymore. Jab, jab, jab from Muhammad Ali. There's nothing left to quarry and quarry anymore. <laughs> Cheeky, says Ali. Don't you dare hit me. bandage come loose in Ali's left glove he is punishing with one minute to go Quarry beyond all possible endurance Quarry doing his best to fight back Quarry driven to retaliate and he's catching Ali Ali saying come on do it again Quarry catches him again. Where is he getting this energy from? A glazed, dazed Quarry. Half a minute to go. And he's fighting back from nowhere. Fifteen seconds to go. And Quarry, where is he getting it from? He's punched his heart out there. And he really caught play. Oh, Ali. And he fights back again as Ali now is infuriated. The bell. What a turnaround. What a cheer for Quarry. Well, as I said, this man, Quarry, does take some stopping. He's got all the heart in the world. And, of course, it suits him if Ali comes in and gets a little reckless and at least allows him to punch swap like that but I must say the refereeing in America never ceases to amaze me that bandage was dangling from Ali's glove there he was almost lashing quarry to death with it but the referee didn't take any notice whatsoever but that really was a great round of hard fighting fast hands from this man Ali but a great show of spirit by quarry who looked as though it might be his last stand and quarry falling in the corner head bowed hands on his thighs there and wondering can I now give it a go there he is he realizes give all I think perhaps we're watching the last round coming up at least he did wipe some of the smile off Ali's face there ah, Ali out to finish it yes it was a last stand I think it was Quarry's last gallant effort referee must stop it yes it's all over all over and rightly so and not before it's time well there's a bit of a melee going on but I'll try and get up to the ring and see what Ali was thinking about
Well, you know, I'll say this, Bradley. He always shows a little bit of compassion there. He's taken the mickey out of Quarry a great deal, but I think Quarry respects this man as a fabulous boxer, whispering in his ear there. I know I lead pretty well, and he really isn't as spiteful as he would appear in the ring. And he's probably saying, Jerry, I think you were smart being stopped when you did. And there you'll get him addressing the audience on the public address system. Talking to him, he's plugging now, he's selling seats for the next uh, mayor of Camden, New Jersey. But you know, before the fight, Ali had built this double bill up as the Soul brothers, he and Foster, versus the Quarry brothers. But I don't think in Las Vegas they care very much about colour except green. And we're waiting and we're hoping that during this melee there that Eamon Andrews will be in there, but Ali is doing the usual ticket selling for his next fight, which is with Al Blue Lewis in Dublin on July 19. exhibition of fighting of boxing this is absolutely this is excellence like like perhaps we have never seen before Muhammad Ali is a great fighter there's no doubting that perhaps he is the greatest uh, we'll find that out perhaps when he gets into the ring again with Joe Frazier and as he said in the ring I don't think it's going to be too long before that fight does come off I think everybody is going to want it now is going to demand it now and uh, I don't think Joe is ducking anybody because Joe Frazier is a great fighter in his own right. So we got that to look forward to. Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Clark. 
get him in here. We've been training in Dublin, Ireland. He's in some chicken farm down in South Carolina somewhere. And after Dublin, Ireland, you're going to fight Floyd Patterson. Yes, Floyd Patterson wants another shot. He just got Bonavino. He's still stuck. 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 Somebody's putting up the money in the guarantee. I think he deserves a shot. All right. I don't know if the public will do that. And George Bull was messing with me. That's who I want. He's like, no, I'll knock him out. George Bull was not old. You get ready. You get ready. George, come on up here. Come on up here. Let him on up here. It ain't nobody left for me to fight. It ain't nobody left for me to fight. They want you. I want to talk to you too, Ali, when you're ready. I'm not playing. You think we're playing? You sign, let us fight. You see if we play. 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 You see if we this has been a contest for some of George Foreman. Damon, how you doing? George Foreman's coming up here now. All right. I'll whoop him too. And I'll let him go. Leave him alone. Because I'll put this fist right in your nose. Knock my hand down. I'll put it right in your nose. I'll put this right in your nose. That's right. Joe Fraser. Joe Fraser. That's right. Because you know Joe Fraser is easy. You don't want me. I'm too. Boy. 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 Well, I don't know if you're hearing me, but there's a hell of a scuffle going on here. Up the Hold it. Hold it. I'm losing my mic. Tab, let's go to the dressing room. Take him to the dressing room. Say, Tab, let's go to the dressing room. Well, I don't know what Ali's doing there. But he's trying to punch his punches down at George Foreman, one of the contenders for his title. Ali, I'm waiting to hear from you back in England too. All right, I'm ready. Tell them all back in England, I'm ready. I'm ready for Joe Frazier. I'm fighting every month. I'm proving he's coward. I want them all to get ready. Want them all to get ready. Ali, why, why? Want them all to get ready. Ali. I'm going to clear it the whole game. Okay, Ali, why did you why did you play with okay. Quarry for so long? I wasn't playing. I was filling him out. I got him in the end. I was filling him out. I wasn't playing. What do you mean you were filling him out? Filling him out. Seeing what he had. What Taking my time. Had? Didn't want to turn myself out. Last time he was much better because I was so off. I was off for three and a half years, but now I'm back. I'm convinced. I'm cool. I'm ready. My wind is good. My weight's good. And I'm better than ever. Okay. And I want all of you to call that coward Joe Frazier out and quit fighting these has beens and start fighting somebody. Who's somebody? Frazier, is it? The Blue Lewis and Floyd Patterson. I want them all. Huh? July the 19th in Dublin. That's him, Blue Lewis. Why didn't you shake hands? I'm, I don't want to shake hands with him or Josh Foreman. They've been talking. They're my contenders. They're my enemies. And I just want them. I don't want to shake hands with nothing. I'm ready. I'm ready. And you reckon you get Foster before the end of the year? Foster who? <laughs> who? Frazier. Frazier, I'm working on it right now. I want him. Let's go. All right, well. Let me out his way. Good luck. All right. Let's go. Don't push, don't push. Well, there's a lot of big fellas in this ring, and I don't know whether you can see me or not, but Ali's climbing out, about to climb out of the ring. Whether we have a few more fights on the way, I don't know. He certainly put that uh, bandage fist of his very close under Foreman's nose, but I don't think Foreman punched back at the time. So he's leaving the ring, still talking, and I reckon he'll be talking all the way home, and I reckon he'll be talking in his sleep tonight. And that man will never, ever stop talking. But from this very chaotic ring, uh, I'm going to say, return you and leave the, not the ringside, but the ring itself at Las Vegas, Nevada. Good night. And so with Eamon Andrews caught up in this carnival in the ring there, and this fantastic man, the one-man happening of the big fight scene, we leave you then from Las Vegas, Nevada, with one of the best showings I have seen since Muhammad Ali made his comeback. And from Eamon and myself, goodbye to you from Las Vegas.
Well, lost somewhere in this carnival at the end of a really fantastic exhibition by the one man happening of boxing, Muhammad Ali. Must be Eamon Andrews, who had to really have a tough as fight as Jerry Quarry there to get into the ring to get that interview. But what a fantastic performance it was from Muhammad Ali. And with that, from Eamon and I, it's goodbye to you from our ringside seats at Las Vegas.